Hello, I'm Sarah Bancroft. I'm the editor-in-chief of vitamindaily.com, and we're here today in Vancouver at the new Olive Fertility Center, and we're here with Dr. Beth Taylor, who's going to take us on a tour. I am. This is the reception area. Are you sure it's not a spa? <laughs> yeah. Let's go meet some of the doctors. This is our embryology lab, and head of our embryology lab is Dr. Salah, and we're going to watch him now do an ICSI, which will be exciting, which means fertilizing an egg by injecting one sperm into that egg. So eggs being held there by a little bit of suction on that glass stabilizer on the left of the screen. And now it's moving the egg around to get just the right place to inject. There goes the sperm into the egg. And that's a fertilized egg. So we'll keep the tour going. By that was amazing to see. It's neat, isn't it? Yeah, it's so it's, uh, precise. It's really precise. Um, What's this? Oh, um, that's our one of our masturbatoriums. <laughs> that explains the magazine. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> so this is where the samples from the masturbatorium end up. That's exactly where they end up. In this is the sperm lab or andrology we call it. Sperm and lab. I love how you say that. <laughs> And it's where we process uh, sperm, fresh or frozen, um, to get it ready to fertilize an egg. And let me take you where we store the frozen sperm, frozen eggs, and embryos. It's just around the corner. Okay. Oh. Uh, organizing some sperm here. In one of these tanks, we'll have about 100,000 sperm units or samples stored. And they're stored in liquid nitrogen. And in this form, kept at this temperature, um, they can be there for decades even. And they work just fine at the end. So this tank currently has about 20,000 sperm units in it, and it has the capacity for about 100,000. So once we, and it will happen soon, exceed this tank capacity, we'll move to one of these large ones that are trying to be ready to go. The mother load, so to speak. <laughs> exactly. So here we are, back where we started. Thank you so much for the tour. I found it so interesting. Lots of interesting technology, um, lots of beautiful spaces, and um, celebrating the beginning of life. Well, thanks for coming. So how would someone get started if they were interested in what they saw today? The easiest way is to go to our website, and that will guide people on how they can uh, book an appointment to come and see one of the physicians here. Or maybe come and see you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Dr. Taylor. Well, thank you.